Hello guys, good morning. Um, nandito ko ngayon para um, i-video or ituro sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng cover letter sa Upwork.com. So, this um, cover letter is para lang sa Upwork.com. So, this is the first part of our video for today. So, syempre, kung nandun ka na sa Upwork.com, um, kailangan mong maghanap ng jobs na gusto mo or na preferred mo. So, either fixed price siya or RD. So, puntahan mo lang yan. Halimbawa, this one. Oh, this one na lang pala. Personal assistant. Kasi, yun yung preferred kong kind of work. So, syempre, pag naghanap ka ng work sa Upwork, dapat yung preferred mode. Or yung tingin mo na pasok na pasok yung qualities and skills mo dun sa work na yun. Syempre, babasahin mo kung ano yung nakalagay sa job posting. Okay, this one. So, if you think na pasok ka dyan sa mga hinahanap niya, so, tingnan na natin yung blogging. Mm, so, yun yung client's recent history. So, you can check everything about the client, kung ano na yung mga napagawa niya klase ng work, tsaka yung kung nakapagbayad ba siya sa mga freelancers. So, if okay siya for you, tsaka yan naman, payment uh, method ver verified siya sa Upwork. So, if everything is checked on your standards, or on your qualification or criteria for a client, then you submit a proposal. So, dito, sa submit a proposal, dyan na tayo gagawa ng cover letter. The reason why I made this video is that may nag-email kasi sa akin na isa nating viewer or subscriber na um, nitatanong siya kung paano gumawa ng cover letter sa Upwork. So, ito na po yun. Um, shout out sa iyo. I forgot your name na nag-email sa akin. Pero, yun, para sa iyo tong, um video na to. So, yan. So, syempre, lalagay mo mo na yung rate. Um, rate na gusto mo. So, dito naman sa cover letter, uh, ang gagawin mo una, syempre, you need to introduce yourself. Though, for example, syempre, um, di ka naman nakakilala pa, ba? So, you need to type um, your name. You need to introduce yourself like this. Then, you need to um, lagay mo kung anong uh, brief, his, uh, not brief history, brief background about yourself. A small information about yourself um, para medyo alam ng client kung ano yung background mo. Like this one. Ayan na. This is this is the 11 years now. And... Yeah, an example is that. Um, so, ganyan lang. Uh, small, as in small information lang, um, brief information about yourself. And you should also tell lagi na, na very much willing ka to apply for that certain post. And then, after that, um, you can uh, type in your, ano, your, your skills or yung what you can offer dun sa client. Uh, okay, so ipopost ko muna tas type ko yung um, ay, uh, tingin ko na skills na babagay para dito sa job posting na nilagay niya, okay? So, ayan, nasulat ko na or na-type ko na yung cover letter na ginawa ko for this job. Um, so, yan, basahin ko lang ah. So, my name is Madel Santiago. I am a virtual assistant for 11 years now and I am very willing to apply on the job posted. I consider myself Equipped with all the VA, VA skills needed for the job, but I know I still need to learn a lot. I am highly, highly trainable and can easily learn tasks. If I don't have experience with the software or a program, I'm doing all the research to study it. 
and I'm willing to take any test trial to prove my worth of the job. So, eto, lalo na the last part, lagi ko siyang nilalagay sa, ano ko, sa cover letter kasi um, parang ano yan eh, kumbaga sa, ano, in, um, parang assurance ng, ano, ng client na you are willing to take all the necessary things to do para makuha mo yung job. So, kahit mag trial test ka, magbigay sila sa'yo ng test, uh, sample test, para dun sa job na yon i-accept mo lang or um, tag doon, huwag mong, huwag ka matakot na i-take yun. Kasi dun mo nga ipuprove na talagang dapat ikaw yung nandun sa um, job na yon or sa post na yon So, um, aside from that, uh, sinama ko rin to, may skills and, skills and qualifications and binase ko rin itong mga nilagay ko dito kung sa, dun sa, nilagay nila dun sa job posted like this. So, ayan. So, ayan, nilagay ko excellent in writing, reading, and speaking and speaking skills in English. And then, I don't speak Spanish, but I'm eager to learn. So, you also need to be honest about this. Kasi, uh, they, ano, they appreciate naman your honesty. Kasi, kesa naman, sasabihin mo na marunong ka, pero, kapag na-hire ka, hindi, na, hindi, mo, hindi mo naman pala alam gawin or hindi mo, hindi ka pala nagsuspect ng Spanish. So, ang tendency nun, um, syempre, i-determine nila yung contract and worst part is if they give you a low, a low rating or lowest rating like one star or baka maban ka pa sa Upwork or kung saan ka man nag apply So, much better if you are really honest with your cover letter. So, yun, nilagay ko din yung programs and software skills. Like, eto din yung nandun sa ano nila eh, sa nilagay nila sa post. So, so lalagay mo lang din. So, dapat, kapag nilagay mo yun dito, dapat alam mo siya talagang gawin. So, if not, for example, hindi ka masyadong familiar sa Outlook, you can tell na you're not much familiar with Microsoft Outlook, but you're willing to learn and you're willing to research about it. So, mga ganun lang. So, mostly skills lang naman ang nilalagay sa cover letter. It doesn't need to be so super long. Um, kasi, uh, yung mga client din, na-try ko na din before, super long yung ano ko, yung cover letter. Tapos, parang hindi rin pinansin masyado. So, ito yung parang naging ano ka na formula kapag gumagawa ng cover letter sa mga ina-applyan ko. So, parang um, probability of that, parang mga around 70% ganon na nakukuha ako dun sa ano, or in-invite ako for interview kapag nagsisend ako ng gantong cover letter. So, yun. So, if, uh, ano ka na dito, um, satisfied ka na with your cover letter, then you can submit a proposal. So, that ends our video for today. Yun lang. Sana may natutunan kayo sa ating video. And, um, yun na. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And, syempre, share nyo din sa mga um, friends nyo na nag-start pa lang sa online business or sa online work or sa pagiging freelancer. So, yun lang. Thank you, guys. Bye!